هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الاموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الاموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith nimas izoif karis amenos. I just viewed the video and I see there's some uh, issues with, uh, uh, that I just put up, uh, uh, that there are some issues with uh, the lighting here, gotta fix that up, uh, try it out again today. So I'm just pushing out the uh, announcements that the video is now on the main channel. It was actually a longer video than I expected it to be, and uh, now that uh, we're on X Plus, uh, and uh, for us, uh, for, for me anyways, uh, Easter's almost over, uh, I have to be coming up with a new theme, uh, an opening theme. That's what I'm working on now. Oh, well, not now, now, but... Uh, Right now, I'm just going checking through Facebook, going to all the different sites, the social networking sites that I usually go to in order to uh, uh, get everything done. Ugh. A lot of uh, anniversaries. Yeah, no, my friends are having anniversaries. I guess it's uh, understandable given that it's May. A lot of people get married in May, so uh, you're gonna see normally a lot of uh, anniversaries in May because that's when they get married. I'm going to email here, gotta see what this is all about. I'm working on somebody's computer. Nerd fighters. Come on, nerd fighters. Get one poke. People requesting their uh, requesting uh, these games thing here, the Sims and uh, other stuff. But the thing is that uh, uh, I'm not uh, necessarily a fan of those games. I've, I actually beat them a, uh, a while ago. So I don't really use them. I don't play those games much anymore. The one game I do play is like one that I created with one of my friends on the internet. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Zoe, or actually the full name is Zoe and Tafu. Basically, it means uh, life from the tombs, and it's a cosplay game for uh, those who like writing. What you basically do is you, t you uh, uh, create a character. Uh, then set the character up on the internet with an email address, uh, social networking sites, and stuff like that. And then you live as a character, write and 
write a diary as you're living as this character online. And the diary becomes sort of like a memoir, uh, uh, becomes the memoirs of, uh, of uh, the character. And that's how the, the, no the novel becomes dynamic. So you, you're writing almost from a, from a memoir standpoint as, as you're living the character online. So that's, uh, you know, for me one of the cool aspects of it is that uh, it combine, combines cosplay and... Uh, Fun as cosplay and uh, writing. So if you like writing, and I like writing, then this is kind of the game for you. Anyways, um, I got some other stuff to do to take a look at. Uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later during the day. Well, it's 3 a.m. I'm sitting in front of my computer again. Spent uh, most of the night um, debugging my systems. Every once in a while, you have to go through things, and uh, my uh, library server is kind of uh, reaching its limit. Where now I have to, um, until I get, until I add on another two terabytes, uh, I've got to be a little more careful and make sure that I'm using the space that's there wisely. Because if I don't do that, then what's going to end up happening is that uh, I'll have to, uh, I'll end up running out of hard drive space. That's what I think. I've got to. I won't be able to add any more hard drive space until September, October, and there is a risk that I might run out of hard drive space, so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to clean up and be uh, as conservative with my hard drive space as I possibly can, so then I'm also you know, I'm fixing up the network and doing all the other work that sort of, you know, every once in a while you do need to clean up, you need to sort of reorganize things, and that's sort of what's going on this weekend. Uh, I'm going to go over to see my mom tomorrow again, again to take care of her for another day, and we'll see how things go from there. So I'm just having a little something to eat now. When you get this tired, the bizarre thing is you really don't want to eat. Uh, but you got to eat anyway, so... I don't know, watch uh, two more videos. Come here, and then... Uh, I think maybe that'll be it for tonight, and uh, this will be another two-day um, two uh, discussion. I don't know if I'll be able to do any of the editing tonight. That's, that's what I'm sort of saying. I don't, I don't know if I can get this... If I can get this in the editing bay, it will be up for tomorrow morning. If I can't get this in, into the editing bay and out, then it's not going to be up for tomorrow morning. Alright, so we'll see what happens. Well, it's just about 6 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to tweet out. Uh, because I, I, I've been awake all night. I haven't been able to sleep, so... Might as well tweet out that I am still awake. Making a set of eyes, a squinty eyes. Uh, that's basically three dashes. Uh, the greater than, the, the greater than, and less than sign. That bracket a zero or a no. Uh, that forms the eyes. Uh, let's say peekaboo.
put a search a search tag there for the search tag and that's the uh the, uh, the um, yeah something like, like a number sign the exact name of it is a good skill it was me at this point in time because well it's uh Because I'm sleep deprived, so that's where the whole issue is here. I'm sleep right now. I'm sleep deprived. Uh, I'll be leaving here in just about two, two and a half hours to go to my mama's house and uh, take care of her, make sure she's okay. This is all for Victoria. Really did a lot of tweeting. It was eighty-four messages. But I see because she says she's tweeting with it. it is, uh, gives the uh, the uh, the Twitter app as the tweet bot. So she's using a bot to do the tweeting. I don't know how happy her ISP is going to be about that, or, or other people who are uh, following this uh, all, all, all Victoria. But <laughs> mm -hmm. let's see here. The oldest one is 33 minutes ago. 33 minutes ago. 34 minutes ago. So in 34 minutes. Oh, 34 to 24 minutes ago, this person using the tweet bot for iOS off Victoria uh, sent out 84 tweets. And that just kills your timeline. Talk about blowing up, blowing up your tweeter. Anyways, uh, today's uh, X Plus, uh, not really today's X Plus anymore, uh, the next X Plus, uh, what's going to be this, is once again, is going to be two days morphed uh, into one uh, X Plus, that's because there is no sleep between the two days, so, continuous. Anyways, I'm going to have a little something to drink, a little fruit punch, and uh, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright, well, I just got back from taking care of my mom. I left this morning around uh, quarter past eight. Uh, ironically, I ended up not going to bed till around uh, six o'clock in the morning, just shortly after I last talked to you. So... Uh, she's doing better. She, uh, it's going to take uh, another two weeks before she can go up a simple flight of stairs. Uh, right now she's working on navigating the low level stairs like going into the house and the garage and stuff like that and walking down the driveway. So she's coming along but uh, it's going to be a slow progression and total uh, convalescent time will be split into two. It's one, a three-month period and a second three-month period. So, in total, she's looking at a recovery period of about six months. Uh, the first three months is going to be a little more difficult. She's going to be limited in her mobility. And then afterwards, as she gets more and more mobility back, she still has to be careful for another three months, uh, but continuing to... Uh, pro uh, to make progress in terms of her recovery, in terms of bringing the leg, bringing the leg, bringing the hip 
up back up to where it should be. So let's see if everything goes well and uh, other than that uh, I've been working on my computers and uh, just check my email, check my Twitter. Uh, I don't know, it's hard following some people sometimes because uh, like I'm following this uh, all for Victorious or this Victoria Justice for Victorious on uh, on Nickelodeon and this this person is just literally you know blowing the doors down with with the amount of tweets that she's putting out it's, it's like a it's like a, it's like a flood she doesn't put out one or two tweets this is uh, I said I think it was last night in ten minutes she blasted out eighty tweets so that's going to give you an idea I just got back now I checked it uh, this morning at six it's now three thirty so give you six nine hours there was five hundred tweets so but it, it, it makes it, it makes it when it's that many tweets it makes it difficult to follow so you know if you're gonna be on Twitter you're gonna do tweeting yeah just don't tweet everything <laughs> hey, take it easy take a break I am watching Cassandra this is nerd Darrell yeah. she's yeah. having a cereal delivery she I eats while she works I want Cassandra this chocolate milk what am I gonna eat after? and this banana is for you. <laughs> oh, it's a little after midnight. I'm sitting outside uh, getting some fresh air. The last uh, segment of the vlog for today is going to be Saturday, Sunday. The vlog, uh, I guess Saturday, Sunday is. It's where when things when days start to morph morph into each other, it, you end up waking going going to bed and waking up at the same day. Like uh, I didn't sleep all night last n on Saturday night, uh, and then went to my went to my parents' house around eight o'clock in the morning to take care of my mom to take a look at her leg and make sure everything is going all right. Oh, got back around 3.30, 4 o'clock, went to bed, because I hadn't gone to bed uh, since uh, before Saturday. It was Friday night. It was the last time I actually went to sleep. And then, I think it was uh, six hours later at 10 o'clock, I woke up and started sitting back down on my computer and started working again. And uh, this is supposed to be the Victoria Day weekend, so <laughs> everyone's off except for me. Uh, I'm still here working away at my uh, in my labs in my library. That's the way things usually go, so it's not that bad of a deal. <sighs> so this is the, sort of the next segment uh, of the, sort of the last segment for. Um, yeah, I guess it's going to be for Sunday. Yeah, this is this is Sunday's. Uh, uh, May 20th uh, uh, X plus because no more comments X right now. Now it's X plus because uh, we're going to be doing these comments and sort of vlogs throughout the day and then putting everything together to give you a bit. Well, if you hear the shots in the background, that's little, those aren't shots. That's fireworks. Uh, this is the fireworks season for for us here. That's also Canada Day on July 1st. So. Anyway, the, uh, uh, when you hike for four hours, pain and, and soreness sets in, and that makes you extra tired. But if for some reason I wasn't able to sleep, uh, I did the I did the hike on on Friday. And for those of you who uh, had watched my uh, my uh, uh, my last video, will know that I posted a, 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 a tour that you guys came with me on my uh, my four hour hike, and I sort of walked up to where I was going to go food shopping and then came back. Uh, one of the things, the cool things I saw is I'm into this uh, stuff called uh, 
Kauai Lolita. It's a, there's a whole uh, series of fashion design known as Lolita. Uh, and it's from Japan, and it's uh, it, it's around the the Harajuku uh, train station. Uh, that's where all the fashion comes from. And there was this one girl. I see. I've seen everything on the internet, but I've never actually seen uh, a Japanese girl wearing. Uh, that outfit, that uh, that type of style, and I met somebody uh, on Friday on my hike uh, because the uh, supermarket is near a uh, high school. And as I was walking, coming back, I saw uh, this beautiful girl in uh, a, 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 a Lolita. Uh, it's called Fairy K. Uh, it's a type of Lolita uh, dress. And I'm going to show you a clip of the video because I've got it. It sort of went on the leftover parts I had from uh, from the walk. You can see that. And it's, it, it, she's the outfit was unbelievable. Unbelievable. I really, really like the outfit. So that's uh, so why I'm going to show it to you now. And but this if, uh, this is the last uh, segment, and uh, it'll be off to the off to the editing bay and. Uh, we'll see what I can get done for tomorrow. Oh, anyway. Oh, I'm going to sit outside for about another hour. It's 1 o'clock now. And I'll see you guys. Uh, probably tomorrow. So I, I don't know, probably around 11 I'll start recording again. Alright, take it easy.